Hey, Chipola Nation. We're here with Coach Jeff Johnson, head of our baseball team. How are you doing today, Coach? Doing well. How are you guys? I'm great. Thank you for asking. So we stand here with 11 wins, five losses, and one tie, right? That's where we are right now. All right. So it sounds like we're doing pretty well. So tell us a little bit about our season so far. You know, we, we played a pretty competitive schedule so far this season. And, you know, you're never happy with five losses. You wish you'd won all of them. But the way we do things and we... We pitch a lot of guys and, and hold them to pitch counts early in the year and try to play everybody and try to figure out who, who we can depend on and who we can't depend on. And hopefully we can depend on everybody when we get to the conference part of the season. But, you know, 11-1 and one right now, we're, it's, a solid, it's a solid start. You know, hopefully we continue to grow and get better as we go. Yeah, absolutely. So are there any players that stand out to you so far that have been doing just a phenomenal job this season? You know, you know, Tucker Flint has really swung about well for us. He's a transfer from the University of Maryland and, and done a great job at first base and, and really swung the bat well. I think he's got five home runs and, and uh, hitting about 420-something for us right now. Uh, Zach Rice, our center fielder, has played extremely well as of late. Uh, really can run well in the outfield, runs down, runs down a lot of balls, steals some bags. Uh, he's swinging the bat much better right now as well. You know, pitching why Cedric D Grand Prix? I think Cedric's 4 0 for us right now as a starter. Um, he's a returning, a returning uh, pitcher for us from last year as well. Happy with where he is. Uh, Kenya Huggins has thrown very well uh, as a true freshman. He's thrown well for us too. So, you know, and, and Drew Howard. Drew Howard's a returning guy who's thrown extremely well for us uh, out of the bullpen and as a starter for us. So we have some pretty great players this season, then, don't we? Well, we hope they become <laughs> great players. Right now, yeah. right now they're good players. But uh, you know, as we continue on through the conference and through the state tournament and all that, hopefully that hopefully they all they all ready to go when we get there and perform at their best their abilities. Absolutely, and we will be able to see these players in some away games coming up, right? Yeah, you know, this this week we're on the road at Gordon College up in Barnesville, Georgia. We play on Tuesday up there at 2 o'clock Central. Uh, come back here this weekend on Saturday. We got a doubleheader on Saturday. We play at 12 and against Wallace Dothan, and then we play at 5.30 uh, against Grand Rapids, and then they play between us. And then on, and then on Sunday we got a doubleheader starting at 1 o'clock. So that is a little bit of a change in the schedule compared to what it was. So uh, that's our you know that's our next five games for this week. We've been playing five games for the last couple of weeks. So you know, a little wear and tear on the guys but that's what they need to have and they need to understand how to play when they're tired and through adversity. Our home games we web, we web stream those through Team One Sports backslash Chipola and they're available to be uh, you know be, be uh, purchased and you'll be able to watch them there as well at home games. Okay well thank you so much coach thanks for coming out today and having this interview with us. Thank you all so much thanks for coming.